Ladies and gentlemen, it is that time of the month again. It is time for a sarcastic jerk to look at the Nintendo Switch eShop. Hey, 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 it's your buddy Josh Thomas here uh, from Nintendo Beyond, and here we are on the Switch eShop. Now, I'm actually, in about a week, we're, I'm going to be blowing like $160 on Labo, so I might not want to download anything right now, but we're going to look through it. Here are the recent releases. How about a bing? Let's get into it. We've got some man who had the top of his head burned off, so they only show his nose downward. What is this? Football manager touch. Well, that's a bit confusing. Be oh. oh my god, what is this? Oh man, we're off to a blazing start, ladies and gentlemen. What is this? Ooh, oh man, you know what? When I, you know what I think of when I want to buy a game? I think, gosh, I, sh I sure hope they don't show me a lot of the gameplay, and I, I hope they just show me a bunch of complicated menus instead. And boy, howdy, this is delivering big time on that hope. What? What? Four? four five? <laughs> no! <laughs> Whoa, okay, hold on a second. Oh, man, this is just the first game and I'm already stimulated. So we got the logo screen. I don't know what this is. And then we got one image of gameplay, which looks like, uh, dare I say, an, a PSP game at best. And then the rest, one, two, three, four, Five, five screenshots are just menus. Oh my God, glorious. <laughs> okay, well, that's $40. $40. Oh my God. Okay, moving on. Pirates all aboard. Ooh, all aboard is spelt with uh, bones. That's a bone font right there. How much is this? Six bucks. Okay, so let's go into it thinking. Logo is not bad. Somebody clearly has a boner for bones. Jeez, they use a lot of bones. Oh, wait a minute. I just now looked. Oh, okay. Hold on a second. I looked at the sails and I was like, oh, this is terrible. Like the sails of the ship. But then I looked at the rest of it and realized that's the style. So what is this? What's it looking like? Okay. Okay. Oh, it's got some two-player component there. I, I don't know. I feel, uh, uh, hmm. Four players. Holy crap. What is the point of the game though? I guess I should read the description maybe. It's got sharks in it. You guys see those sharks down there? I think those are sharks. Uh, the sea is calling. Pick a ship, bring friends, and sail on. If you own or buy Astro Bears Party or Robonauts, you can save 50% on this title. Uh, okay, let's see. Become the best pirate. Skillfully navigate between tropical islands on seven maps. Exploit each other's ship strength and weakness. This could be cute. This could be a cute one. Not enough for me to want to click to the wish list, but that's okay. I'm not... I'm not offended. Don't starve, Nintendo Switch Edition. Don't tell me what to do. Okay, so this looks kind of cute. There's a shark. I mean, I I, so, I don't know. I, I, I don't want to sound conceited, but I have a feeling that all of these developers, every game developer everywhere, has been watching these videos where I mock the Switch eShop games because they are putting a lot of sharks in them now, apparently, just to get my approval. And it's working. Uh, so this guy is, um, I don't know, who is that? Johnny Depp? Oh, look at her. Oh, she's got a little bite out of her surfboard. Come, come, come. Whoa, look at that thing. All right, I mean, I don't really know what's happening here. What's the name of it? Don't Starve. If you don't starve, in Don't Starve Nintendo Switch Edition, you play as Wilson, an intrepid gentleman scientist who's been trapped by a demon and transported to a mysterious wilderness world. So I guess you just try not to starve, right? Is that the thing? 20 bucks? I don't know. That one, you know what? I think that's been available on other platforms, but that doesn't look so bad. Okay, we can't look at all of these. I, I don't. I, we can't look at everything. I'm just going to go by the ones that... Rogue Aces. I feel like that one was there. Word search. It's $8 for word search. I could go into a grocery store and get a real physical book for like $1.99. And it'll be thick. What is this? Why is this on Nintendo Switch? Word search. I mean, I don't know what to say. I mean, eight bucks. That I could get. I could get a thick ass book that is filled with thousands of word search things for like five bucks, and it could be a physical book that I could take with me. And by the way, the the audience that likes word search games is like seventy years old on up. Probably doesn't have a Nintendo Switch. Let's move on. Eternal Edge. Ooh. Look at that. Oh, look at that art style. Oh, look at that art style, actually. that That's kind of cute. I mean, this doesn't look so bad. I don't know what it is, though, really. $20. Begin your journey as an eternal. No, thank you. 
<clears throat> I'm really curious about rogue aces. I feel like we... Oh, no, no, no. Wait a minute. Okay, so I just saw a bit of a screenshot. Oh, my God. Curiosity is officially dead. Oh... This looks so good. Oh, sweetie, that is such a nice pic. You know what? We're going to put that on the fridge so that everybody who comes over can see it. What is this? <coughs> it's making me cough. Look at all those little guys uh, in their parachutes. You'll notice some of them, their parachute isn't opening. That's because they're going to die. Uh, I don't know what this is. I mean, this looks like an iPad game. Let's be serious here. Let's get real. Look at that logo. Come on, you guys. You got to try harder with the logos. What? What? $10.40. Is that some sort of a random meme that I'm unaware of? Is that like a joke? $10.40. Why is it $10.40? Why I oughta. Oh, okay. Here we go. Ooh, burly men at sea. That's going to be me someday. A branching folktale adventure game uh, about the misadventures of a trio of large bearded fishermen. All right. I, I, don't, I don't like where this is going. I've seen certain videos like this on the internet by accident. <clears throat> Yar, we were sailing for adventure and heroic feats when this colossal whale fellow scooped us up, explains Steady Beard. It's really very discouraging. Look at that fire, man. This game is heavily, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Isometric? No. Geometric? Maybe that's it. <clears throat> oh, mermaid girls. What even is this, though? The grim cloaked figure clears his throat as he approaches. <clears throat> Greetings. Please climb aboard your complimentary trip to the afterlife. Oh, look at those little chickens. Hello, little chickens. Those bearded men look like they've got gigantic rooster coggles. What is the thing that a rooster has underneath it? I don't know what it is, but I'm going to call it a coggle. It seems like it would be called a coggle. Look at those coggles. Uh, is this a video game, or is this, like, a book? I don't really know what this is as far as a video game goes. $10. Like, I don't know. I get it. It's like, what is the genre? Oh, God, what isn't the genre? Other, adventure, puzzle, board game? Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. <sighs> Shelter looks kind of cute. What is this? Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. Shelter Generations. This is uh, $18, a bit random. Um, but, oh, uh, hey. Oh, what the heck? What is this? Oh, God. Oh, my Christ. Oh. Listen, game designer of this particular game, whoever told you this looked good, never talk to them again because they're a liar. What is this? This is vomit. I, I mean, I get that they're trying to go for a style, but this, this, the style is vomit. This is like a Nintendo DS game blown up to the size of a TV screen. Now that, that actually kind of works. That sort of works. I see where they're going there. That works even more. That looks good. I like the way that looks. That looks good too. But then you look at like that screenshot in particular, just vomit inducing. I don't know. Shelter Jet. The beauty of nature goes hand in hand with its unforgiving rawness. My eyeballs are raw after looking at some of those screenshots. Uh, there's two games included in this special digital collection. Shelter 2, with the Mountains DLC included, follows the life of a mother lynx. It's a journey of, I don't know, the, a lot of these indie games are just, they're all journeys. You notice that? Every indie developer is, my video game is an experience. It's a, it's a journey. It's a spiritual enlightenment. Uh, I drink soy milk. Um, it's adventure and simulation, so at least it's got that. Uh, and it's available in English and Chinese, which is a bit odd. Chi I don't know. I guess Chinese people were really, really... Uh, yammering to play some Shelter Generations. Uh, by the way, disclaimer, some of these games that I'm mocking could be very good. I don't know. I'm just going by the eShop. Like, that's the whole idea. Because some people were like, that, that, that um, cluster truck game was really good, Josh. But it's like, you know what? If I didn't have access to social media or something and I was just going by this, like a normal consumer, I would have thought that truck game looked like garbage. All right, this looks amazing. Breakfast, no, Breakforcest Battle. 
Holy crap! I, I'm down. There's a there's a there's a goddamn pickle dog with a laser gun. Oh man, please don't look. Please game. Please don't disappoint me because you got everything I could possibly want on this screen. Well, you did it. You managed to do it. No. Um. What is this? A puzzle game? What is this? Uh, first of all, look how small those tile pieces are. My God, are they expecting me to play with my eyeballs like literally glued to the TV screen with my friends? How close you got to be to see this? I don't know. This looks like it could be a cute puzzle game, actually. I like the art style. Looks a little complicated, actually. There we go. You can see those pieces a little better. There's waffles. The puzzle pieces are GD waffles, for crying out loud. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of cute. Ten bucks. You know what? F it. You just made it to the wish list. Congratulations. Oh, wait a minute. Is that is that part of the game? Oh, no. Hold on. Get it get it off my wish list. They put a hashtag in their title. Hashtag breakfast battle. Uh, they ruined it with the hashtag thing. I didn't realize that at first. Hashtag. I'll give you a hashtag. Drone fight. These these are literally drones. 5 bucks. Something tells me this was an iPad game. Yes, this was an iPad game. This game looks like crap. This game, what? It looks like crap. How do you know? I have eyesight. Oh, that's okay. I get it now. What in the heck is this? Why did somebody make this? Why? Oh, look at those question mark blocks. That's a good texture. Why did somebody allow this to be on the Switch? Hey, you know what I like the most about this game? What? I like the fact that the developer took a screenshot and they took it in between the position changing because you can see a little bit of the fifth uh, sort of ghosting around that. So clearly... Uh, that's a horrible screenshot. Yep, that's what happened. Why wouldn't you retake that if you're a professional? I don't know. What? God, get! God, five bucks, but get it out of my face. Neo Geo, what is this? Um, <coughs> this is called Gururin. Look at that, a big piece of poop. Wow, it's the magical electrical poop. Wait a minute, what is happening? <laughs> What is... Is that like the skull of Waluigi's father back there? Look at that. Weird. What... E what... Uh, what even comes to mind? Why? I don't know. Maybe it's cute. It's really random. I, I don't really know what to say about that. Um, We've seen deep ones. Oh, man. We're just in the recently released Bomb Slinger. A Wild West action game filled with explosive single-player action and hectic four-player death. What is the... Hey! Da -da 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 -da. Look at that son of a gun. The oh, it's like Bomberman, eh? Kind of, maybe? This is sort of cute. This looks... Oh, oh! <laughs> Yeehaw! Look at that! We're dueling a friggin' goat or a ram that has its antlers on fire. Holy lordy! All right! Like, what is this game? This is kind of cute. Maybe this is one to keep my eye on. I'm gonna. You got added to the wish list. Congratulations. It looks like it's Bomberman, but uh, I was actually dissatisfied with Bomberman on the Switch. Bomberman R, Super Bomberman R, blah, blah, blah. Super Bomberman R. I didn't think it was very good. Um, bad dudes. It's by Data East. I thought Data East was uh, bankrupt. Data East, I think, made Joe and Mac. What the heck? Oh, this is like an old game? Or is it made to look like an old game? I don't know. I can't be bothered. Splat the fruit! Hey guys, um, what do you want to make a bet? And maybe I'm maybe I'm going out on a limb here, but what do you want to make a bet that Splat the Fruit is really low quality? Well then. Words elude me right now. Nintendo, why are you allowing garbage? Like, this is Angry Birds with fruit and a horrible art style. I mean, why is this? This stuff would have never made it onto the Wii or the Wii U. I, I've never seen stuff like this on the Wii, for example. So how does it make it on this system? I don't... Ten dollars? Oh, wait, wait a minute. The thinking person's Angry Birds. 
Splat the fruit is the thinking person's version of Angry Birds. Well, apparently, oh, apparently you weren't thinking when you wrote this description because person should have had a, a, an apostrophe. My God. And then look at the developers get to decide what colors the background is and what color the font is on their page. Why did you pick bluish gray with red? That looks horrible. I, I'm actually reviewing that. That's how bored I am with these games. No, not view all. Go back. Go back. We're Okay, we're done with the recent releases. Man, recent releases is miserable. Let's go games on sale. Oh, so that's the one. Oh, 50% off. That's only... Set. I was talking about that last time. Slayway Camp. Maybe it's time to actually pull the trigger on that and try it out. The Sparkle 3 Genesis. Paper Wars. Zeo Drifter. That's by Jules Watson. Uh, Twin Robots. What is that? Did we look at that before? See, some of these that are on sale, we might have looked at. I think I did look at this, didn't I? Maybe. I think I looked at that. Th that doesn't look so bad. That looks okay. And six bucks? Yeah, you could get that. I don't want it, but that's that, that passes the test. Layers of Fear Legacy. These names. Why don't You know, you're supposed to try and sell people your game, and the name is the first thing they're probably going to learn. So why don't you try harder? What is this? I don't know. I think I might have looked at this, too, didn't I? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, these games that are on sale look like they're on sale for a reason, for the most part. You want to guess what the reason is? They're garbage! Hey, I bought that stupid Woodle Tree Adventures thing, thinking it looked kind of cute. I was like, hey, look at this! This is kind of cute. Looks like it could be decent, right? You'd be very wrong. It's glitchy and garbage, and I cannot... Again, I can't believe it's on here. I'm not really... Oh, I bought this one, too. This is absolutely horrible as well. Square Boy versus Bullies. I don't even know why I bought this, because it doesn't even really look appealing in the screenshots, but <laughs> there's a demo of it. Man, what? <sighs> this, is a, or this is a rather miserable discount section. I feel like I'm looking at a uh, the discount section of an Aldi grocery store here. Graceful Explosion Machine, though. I heard that's pretty good. It's only $7. It looks kind of stylized and fun and silly, but I don't really, you know, I'm at a point in my life where my time is valuable. Like, if I'm going to put time towards sitting down and playing a video game, it needs to be a really good video game. I don't really want to try or experiment with stuff that might not be good anymore. I just don't have the time for that. Best sellers. Let's look through this really quick. Uh, Kirby's on there, which is uh, kind of interesting. Mario, where's, man, where's, uh... Oh, I was going to say, did Ze oh man, Zelda is beating Mario Odyssey. I'm pretty happy about that, actually. By the way, if you're like, oh my god, Josh didn't buy Zelda, I have the uh, physical version of it. But um, I'm, yeah, I'm happy. Wow, Splatoon is beating Mario Odyssey. That's interesting. Punch Out! Oh, I, I actually, I think I want to download this. Because this is like the original arcade version, which is pretty cool. Oh man, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is that the way they're formatting it? Because I really don't need to see that screen on the left. Look at that guy. Piston Hurricane. Man, little Mac looks like kind of an idiot. He's got testicle. He's got a testicle chin going on. Um, I'm tempted to get this, but I don't like the way they have it formatted. I get that it's like supposed to be like the arcade or whatever, but I, I don't know. I, I, well, me, I don't know. Kind of wish it was just full screen. Maybe there's a ki kid quick. What? That guy looks like he's. There you go. Now see, that's the better way of playing it. I hope you can play it like that on your TV. That that's a little confusing. Uh, obviously, you're supposed to take the switch out of the dock and then like flip it upward and play it like that. That'd be kind of cute, actually. Like you're, it'd be like your own little arcade machine. That's one I might get. I I have to be honest. That's kind of a cool thing. I like Punch Out, and uh, so I might let's add that to the wish list so I can remind myself. Even though I never look at my wish list. <laughs> um, Overcooked. That's pretty good. I, man, I'm amazed that Overcooked is still Overcooked is still on there. I hope the developer has learned from this and they release all their future games on the Switch because, uh, yeah, that's, that was an old game when it came to the Switch and it's done pretty well. And the Switch version is like the, the worst as far as performance go, but it is really fun and I would recommend it. Oxenfree? It, I'm, I'm disappointed that that's on the best. Is this bestsellers? This is bestsellers! This game is boring. It's not even a game. It's just listening to a bunch of, like, hipster millennial chat I think people are downloading it because it looks so pretty, but the game itself sucks. It's boring. It's not really a game. It's just like a bunch of hipster, annoying voiceover stuff. It just seems like if Tumblr made a game, just the way they talk, I don't know. I didn't like it. I like the artwork, but uh, I don't know. It's just not for me. 
Stardew Valley, get the F out of the best sellers. I'm tired of people telling me to download that. All right, coming soon. This is what this is what matters. I bet we won't see Labo on here because Labo probably won't be sold on the eShop. It's spring again. That's actually accurate. Well, it's got a cute art style. It's spring again, everyone. Wow, look at this art style. What? What? What is this game? What? Hold on. A dollar oh a dollar seventy nine. What? It's spring again, an educational game for children ages two and up. It uses game mechanics to teach children about the seasons. The, this game intended to develop associational associational and lot too bad it doesn't teach you how to read, because I could really benefit from that, obviously. What the, what is this crap? It's in English and Russian. <gasps> the Russians are hacking the switch. Uh oh. Um, why is this on here? Again, like th th this is an iPad game that they just threw up on the switch for some random reason. Party trivia. Nine ninety nine. It's coming out April eighteenth. This is a multiplayer trivia game. Okay, let's see what Neo. Ridun, Stargate, Ryan Tedder, and Fernando Garabe all contributed to productions to which of these 2009 albums? Sweet Seven, The Blueprint 3, Celebration, Brand New Eyes. Are these real albums? Are these real things that they're saying? Because I've never heard of anything. I thought Stargate was some, like, nerdy future sitcom thing, wasn't it? Stargate G1 or something like that? Who are any of these people? Is that it? Winner. What is... Hold on a second. <laughs> ah, woo what a screenshot. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus. Come on, developers. You got to... Oh, my God. Look at this. <laughs> it's late. I can't take this. Oh my god. Can you imagine being like we need some screenshots for our game? Uh so put that put take a screenshot of the winner screen to put up there. Oh good. I wasn't going to buy this game unless I knew there was a screen that said winner. What is going on? Look, we've got so we've got like what is why don't you just show me a bunch of screenshots of the type of questions in the trivia? You didn't do that. Look. There's the main menu. I don't what's in the top right corner there? What is that? That looks like the thing you get for like when you get an achievement on the Xbox, doesn't it? I don't know. I don't own an Xbox. But what is that? That doesn't look like it belongs there. What? Oh, there's another one. Where would you wear a boa? Oh, that's around your neck. Bing, bing, bing. Okay, so that's a question I actually kind of know. So if it's just like a party trivia game for like almost nothing, it's fine, right? That's fine. But like why would you? These screenshots suck. You should have just done all. Do the title screen. No, do that. And then like another four images of questions. Or maybe like a category. Do you have categories in this game? Then just show like the different types of categories. Not this. I mean, this is showing us one of the categories, but I don't know. Ten bucks. Yeah, I mean, that could be fine for what it is. If you want a trivia game to play with family on a holiday or something, fine. But man, pick your screenshots better. Oh, what is this? Break Breaks are for losers. Hold on a second. This is going to be in. Oh, it's $5. That, that translates to this game sucks, by the way. Wait, what? That's kind of cute. This looks like one of those old style. This is somewhat. See, this is one of those games that I think, oh, this kind of looks interesting. This looks like a cute little, like, kind of modernized NES type game. And then I end up downloading it and regretting it instantly because it's way crappier than I thought it was going to be. But this does look kind of cute. I mean, like I said, it reminds me of NES games. Oh, that's neat. It's like darker and you got little lights on. I don't know. I mean, that's sort of cute. Five bucks. God help me, I'm going to put that on the wish list, even though I, I very much doubt I'll ever buy it. One to eight players. Hey, that's kind of cute. That gets a pass. Neo Atlas 1469. What is this? Oh, my God. This looks educational. Wow. I like to be... A are you sitting on my face and crapping me? What? Where do you get off? This looks like a PC game from 1999. What is... 
Okay. Hold on, let's read the description. <clears throat> we shall make our very own world map. Approve or disapprove. The choice means everything in this new world exploration simulator. It is the 15th century Europe at the height of Age of Discovery. Back when the very shape of the world was still unclear and believed to be flat. What are you talking about? Some people nowadays believe that. This game is based in modern times. Searching for what lies at the end of the Earth, collecting information about the world, creating your very own world map. But only the finest admirals may take off on these adventures. You are a trader who charters a boat to take on the massive venture of creating a world map. Yeah, I think you mentioned that before. So what do you do? Create a map? All right, got it. What is this? Uh, simulation other. Got it. It's for one player. Okay, well, that's a, that's a thing. Uh, $50, you are insane, sir. What is going on here? How's that guy holding that lightsaber? That lightsaber has no handle. George Lucas would never have approved that. The final stage awaits you. A total of 19 fierce stars will now battle. 19, why wouldn't you have gone to 20? Why, why would you pick 19? The guy on the left has really ugly shoes, by the way. Oh! Hey, look at that! We can fight! In China, in the in the food court district of China, where roasted pig heads are considered a delicacy, and they eat grasshoppers and fried newts. Anyways, why is that guy's hair black, but then it's blonde on the top? That, what is happening to him? Oh! I'm gonna do the voices. Guy on the left. I'm not gonna use words. I'm gonna do their voices. Just in like a sound effect. So guy on the left would be Guy on the right would be uh, Guy on the left would be Guy on the right would be Oh my god, my hands! Okay, that's it. That's enough of that. Oh my god, I'm looking at the waveform on the computer for that. That was loud! Um, oh, what is it? <coughs> Hold on a second. <laughs> Jesus. What is this one? The Way Remastered. All right, this looks kind of cute. This looks interesting. It's like we've got one side that's very picturesque, and then on the right, it's very sad. Wait, is this like telling, like, is the left this, like, really sexy couple? They're both in love. And then, like, something happens and she dies and the right is, like, showing us him at her grave. Did I just predict the whole entire story? Wow, that's some detailed pixel art. See, that's the way to do it. Look at that. See, this? There you go. There you go. See? I'm not, Everybody's like, Josh is such a dick to pixel artists. Josh is racist towards people who make pixel art. Um, but no, I'm not. If you're going to do it, do it, like, in an interesting way. This is... This is pretty interesting. Look at the amount of detail. Good job. Look at that. This is good. Look at that. Yes. Yes. Oh, geez. I don't know what's going on there. Some sort of satanic ritual. This is, um... This is, oh, oh, yeah. Look at that. Good job. And look, they got a lot of screenshots for their game. A lot of variety to the screenshots. Shows you the game. A 12 buy, buy this game. I'm not going to do that, but buy this game. What is the Oh, it's award winning, so other people have already bought it. What is it? Puzzle, platformer, action adventure. Okay, well, you know. Okay, that's fine. Where are my friends? They all left me because I have a toxic personality. What is this about though? Where are my friends? Sometimes you. The developer is called Sometimes You. Okay, well. Uh, okay. What is going on there? Okay, this is... Eh, I don't know. And then it's that, for some reason. Why is it that, but then also this? And then that. Wait, is this like multiple art styles going on? See, that, <clears throat> if I'm being honest, um, looks like crap. I get that it's supposed to be like a sketchbook, but nothing about this looks good. First of all, your colors are, are terrible. I, I don't know what you're doing with the color scheme here. Second of all, it's just, I don't know, like, I get it. Like, haha, look at that. But it doesn't particularly look like good art in any way. So I don't know. That just doesn't work. That works a little better. 
that works a little better, though I don't like the style. I'd say that's probably the best style in all this. Oh, God, there you go. Where are my friends? Your friends left you because they couldn't figure out what art style you wanted to go with for your game. All right, well, oh, it's only six bucks. I don't know. What is the genre of this thing? The genre is arcade, adventure, platformer, puzzle. Wow. That you should be forced to just pick one. Just one. Oh, what is this? Death? Death. I thought that said death to Canada. For some reason, I, did. <laughs> I didn't read the road part. Death to Canada. The Nintendo dads aren't going to be happy about that. <coughs> At least some of them. So what is this? Death Road to Canada. There you have it. Now, see, this is an example of ugly pixel art, by the way, in case you were wondering. Wow, there's a, you have died on the death road to Canada, eh? There should be, they should put A after that. Trademark. They put a trademark after the word Canada. So apparently this developer has trademarked an entire country, which is, uh, that's an impressive feat. I'm impressed. Oh, oh, hold the, fu oh my God. Oh man, oh man. I, oh, there's a real guy down there. Okay, let's go to the real, what is this late shift? Well, wow, that's a real guy. Look at him. Huh. There he is. That's the guy. That's a guy. Do you want to contradict or do you want to play cool? Well, that guy's clearly not cool looking. That guy's really, hold on, that guy's really sweaty. Why is he sweating? I don't want an HD picture of some dude sweating. GN64SSV. Is that Russia? That, I think that's a Russian license plate. Maybe not. I don't know. What do I know? Um, keep pepper spray or drop it? Huh. Oh, kiss or withdraw. That. By the way, um, uh, if any of you are watching this and you haven't kissed anybody yet, that's when you go to kiss a girl, that's literally what pops up. And you have to select kiss or withdraw. I usually go with... French kiss, down the throat, swish the tongue around, keep at it for five minutes straight, with your eyes wide open, staring at her, right in her eyes, and just keep going, and she never, never talks to you again. Which is weird, I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. Wait, what's this, they're at an auction? Oh, she's got his credit card, because he's like, oh babe, you are so cute, look at you, you are so beautiful, I'll tell you what, I'm going to let you bid on something using my credit card, no matter what it is. I'm so in love with you. And right now she's bidding on a $15,000 blender. And he's thinking to himself, bitch, are you kidding me? We've got two blenders at home. I don't know. Look, I don't know if that's the whole situation here. And then that, look at the old grandma. What? Is this the church? This isn't the church ladies league. Where am I? I just crapped myself, but nobody will be able to smell it because I have gallons of old lady perfume on. Wh where's the priest? Why is everybody waving a paddle in the air? Are they going to hit me? Oh, my God, if they hit me, I hope they don't hit me in the back of the head. My dentures will fall out. Why are my glasses tinted purple? Oh, it's probably because my eyes are weak and old and I can't take this fluorescent lighting in the church. <clears throat> Why do you people watch these videos? You know what you're getting into. Well, that's late shift. <coughs> I don't know. <coughs> I don't know what to say. I don't. I, I'll do. That guy's got some pretty good. Um, he's got good lips for the most part, I think. Kind of. Maybe. Let's go back. Has he got good lips? No, he's got a weird. Actually, he's got a weird jawline. He looks like he's got tennis balls in his mouth in a little bit. No. Well, yeah. I don't know. You think they actually bought that car for this or do you think they just rented it so this is what is this what are we even what is what are we looking at that your decisions are you what yeah it's one of those fmv things that you'd see like back a lot seven gigs now who in their right mind is going to say uh this eShop game that is this like fmv thing i'm gonna waste seven gigs of my storage on this garbage <laughs> All right, let's go. Oh, I want to see what this is. Agatha Knife, 
Mong Mongo Protocol. No, no, no. Go back. I don't want to watch the video. What? I'm more there. J Jesus. The old lady from that last game is... <laughs> Oh my god! She's transcending art styles! She's in this game too! If you don't- wait a minute. If we don't buy cheese, we won't be resurrected. What am I saying? What is this? What? <coughs> Look at that old guy. Hmm. That guy's singing a song right there. Amazing grace How sweet alone was blind, but now I'll see. Why is there a safe behind him? Because you're always safe in church. Actually, that's not necessarily true, especially if you're in Europe. You know, like some of those weird places in Europe. If you're in a Christian Catholic church, you're, you're probably not safe because I've read some stories about that garbage. Anyways, let's we're getting a little too serious here. Let's move on. Um, what? Why? What? There's a bluebird on my shoulder. Da -da -dee. Well, that monkey's over there covering his eyes on his tire swing. Um, what is going on here? I don't even know. There, there's a, there's a, oh my god, there's a dead penguin. And I know it's dead because it has X's in its eyes. And the de there's a friggin' murder mystery going on down there. There's a dead penguin. The mom came back and she's pissed. And the dad's just like, what's going on here then, mate? Oh my lord, the, oh, the baby is dead again. Well... Looks like we're gonna have to do the deed once more there, Dolores the Penguin. Why is there a little dead penguin? And is that thing dead on the left there too? What is that? A, 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 what do you call a lemur? Is that a lemur? Is that a dead? He's not dead. He's sleeping because he's got the little U eyes. U eyes in cartoons mean you're sleeping or you're happy. X eyes means you dead. <coughs> God, I think I'm dying. I think I'm gonna have X eyes here pretty soon. Um... The baboon thing over there, he's covering his eyes, so we don't know if he's sleeping or dead. <clears throat> what? What? What is going... What in the hell is this game? I don't... I don't like this. Why is that... Why does it just say knife on that box? What is that about? Carnivorism. Well... Oh, is that me? Is that... That dude over there is sitting all chill up against the tree. That's me. I'm pretty sure that's a drawing of me. That's... And see those hot girls there chatting with him? I mean, this is... I think this happened a week ago. I think somebody just took a picture of something I was doing outside. Which one would I rather date? The one with the scarf or the one reading the book? The one reading the book or the magazine or whatever, I don't like her shoes as much. The girl in the scarf, I think I would probably be more inclined to to want to date because she's got a little bit better style maybe at least shoe style because she's got like ballet flats on it seems but then I don't like her stupid scarf and I don't like her thick sweatshirt that much and I certainly don't like the blue haired girl that's going around killing pigs why is that fat guy stuck in that booth I don't know what's going on in this game what is this a video game store is that a me that's a megazord a stormtrooper Godzilla is that the old guy from Gremlins in the middle there? There's Totaro, Captain Canada. That's That would be the lamest superhero ever. No offense, Canadians, but come on, let's be serious here. Um, okay. Well, there it is. Agatha Knife. That looks like it would at least... Wait. Believe in carnivorism. That's weird. That looks like it would at least not be boring. So that's good. All right, let, we know what we wanted to see. How many more are there down here? Oh, we got a lot to go, don't we? Oh, man. Oh, my God. This is just a bountiful harvest this month. Uh, Kitty, hello, Kitty Cruisers. I'm not dyslexic. I read the first thing. I, or I mean, I read the middle of a title, and then I read the first word, and then I read the end. That's not dyslexia. That's something else. Um, hold, you, hold your pants on here, Hello Kitty. What do we got here? All right. That's Coropio, right? The frog. I don't know who the, the angry pigeon is, but he's somebody. And then, uh, or he's a crow. And then there's Hello Kitty. Man, look at this. This is just, be this is, this is artwork. Whenever somebody's like, man, do you, do you believe in artwork's ability to change a person's life? I'm going to show him this screenshot and say, yes, I do. Clearly. Um, I think this is an old game that was available on like Steam or something. And they're just now crapping it onto the Switch. I think it's actually pretty bad. Um, 
There's not even shadows underneath things for crying out loud. Well, no, why would you make a game look like this though? Like how can you not even how can you not even have shadows under your carts, right? Yeah, nothing is casting a shadow even. By the way, there's a Hello Kitty gift shop in Universal Studios in Florida, and I we always cut through that gift shop for some reason. When we go there, and I get to see all these cute little characters. I, I like the frog, and I like the dude with the... He's like a walnut or something. He's there back there. He's in the statue thing. I like him. I don't know what he is, but I like him. I find that when I don't know what something is, I tend to like it more. Um, the world famous... I'll read this as if it's like some crappy commercial. Ready? The world famous and incredibly popular Hello Kitty is back and starring in an all new 3D racing game. Join Hello Kitty and her Sanrio friends as they race on land, through air, and over water. Race by yourself or with up to three of your friends. Unlock new outfits and vehicles for Hello Kitty and her Sanrio friends. Did I mention she has Sanrio friends before? I don't know why I repeated myself, but <laughs> I'm a psychotic maniac. Or challenge your racing skills in an all new adventure mode. I'm going to go drink bleach. Um, kids, don't drink bleach. It'll kill you. Don't do that. Uh, okay, let, we gotta move on. I'm spending too much time on each of these. Rose, uh, rogue, sky, sky rogue. Now I am dyslexic. There it is. <coughs> there it is. There it is. I mean, you know, I didn't like my eyeballs anyways. This looks like it would hurt your eyes miserably. All right, why do you even... I, I, oh, the controls look like they could be interesting. Motion controls? I don't know. That sort of thing you need to be really talented at, like programming, so I don't know if they would have been able to do that. What am I looking at with this, though? 12 Orbits. Hey! That's the name of this channel's mascot. I'm suing. What is that? Holy goodness. Why would you? Why would you? That's just my question. I don't need to elaborate. You know what I'm talking about. Why would you? Why would you make this? Look at this. What? Colorblind mode. Oh, thank God. I don't know what I'm looking at. I mean, for all I know, this could be fun, but no, I'm sorry. I, I, I refuse to accept that this could be fun. Oh, it's $2, so maybe, I don't know. Whenever they put the price really low, it kind of instantly makes me feel bad for mocking it. Jotun! Jotun! Valhalla Edition! Impress the gods! Jotun is a hand-drawn action, action exploration game set in Norse mythology. In Jutun, you play Thora, the Viking warrior. I don't even know what this accent is. What is... I don't know what this... Oh, man, look at this. Oh. This is like Don Bluth stuff here. Look at that. Forging. See what he's doing there? He's forging a knife. Actually, a sword. I don't know... I don't know what to think here. Whoa, what is going on? <coughs> I need a cough button is what I need. All right. Save the ninja clan. Save them from what? Turning into plastic? Because I think we're too late. I do remember Drago. I remember looking at this. This still isn't out yet. Yeah, I remember looking at this and saying, it could be interesting. Sort of, maybe. All right, what is this? Save the Ninja Clan by Sometimes You. Hold on. Let's just let that wash over us. Man, look at that. Mm. Hmm. Oh, I see. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. One second. Beep 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 boop 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 beep beep beep. <clears throat> Thank you for calling Target. Hi, uh electronics please. One moment. <laughs> Hi, this is Sam, Electronics, how can I help you? Hi, uh, this is Josh Thomas. I'd like to return my Nintendo Switch. Oh, so you've you been on the eShop lately? Yes, I have. All right, bring it in. Thank you. Click. Okay, well, that was a little role-playing there. What is this? Why does crap like this get on the eShop? I've said it a million times. Why, why, why? It's only $4, but why is it here? It's taking up space that could be used to shine light on good games. Um, <coughs> Aquamoto Racing Utopia. I think I get, I, I think I get emails from the developer of this nonstop about updates on this project. 
I think this is what I'm what I'm what I'm uh, thinking of. I don't know. I mean, I can't really tell what the game's like because there's no real screenshots. I don't know. Maybe that could be good. Forty dollars. Remember that? Uh, that just reminded me of something from The Simpsons. It's an older episode. Marge is reading an old letter from Homer. She's like, "Oh, your father used to write me love letters," and she picks one out, and it's Homer, and he's like. Oh, my dear, they got these big, soft, chewy pretzels there, and you're all five dollars? Get out of here. It's like a drunk letter. I don't remember the rest of it. I just remember it's like, oh, they got these big, soft, chewy pretzels there, and it's over five dollars? Get out of here. Um, I don't know why I was wrong. Oh, oh, hey! Now, just in time for the spring and summer, it's snow moto racing. Everybody is thinking about snow right now. Look at this. Snow, snow, snow. There's more. Oh, no, there's not. I don't know. They come out the same day. I don't care. Bouncy Bob! All right. I kind of like the look of this, to be honest with you. I approve. (laughs) Oh, my God. He's eviscerating his friend underneath him. Oh, this could be cute. This could be one to look out for. It's got a good style. It's got a character that looks like he's clinically insane. I can relate. Oh, look at those little skeleton guys on the top there. Those are good. This is good. Is that Halloween themed? Is this Halloween themed? This looks kind of Halloween themed. Yeah. Bouncy Bob. Yeah, Memento Mori. That's, yeah, that's like a cemetery thing. This, put this mother effer on my wish list right now. I I feel like you should have released that in like late September, but. Hilarious couch co-op with a pinch of darkness. Defeat hordes of zombie and seal your fate with the push of one button. Beat your own score in single player. Blah. Keep your local multiplayer up to four people. Challenging 15 arenas. I don't. I still don't know what it is. But I don't know what the gameplay is. What is the genre? Party, action, arcade, platform. All right. Well, you know what? You got my attention. That's one I will likely download. Actually. Uh, Crash Bandicoot. What is it? This. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> there's no title. I don't know what the game is. Generally, they kind of broke the rules there. You know, you're, I think you're supposed to have your title on your screenshot, by the way. I, I could be wrong. I guess that one doesn't have the title either. No, yeah, it does. 12 Orbits, yeah. This is the first time we've seen it. I bet it's going to be great. There's a little anime girl dressed up like Little Bo Peep down there. Listen, I'm not judging her. Everybody gets that urge to want to dress up like Little Bo Peep, but I don't make a game about it. Exact. 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 Egozactu. What is this? Twinkle Star. It's uh Twinkle Star. That's a uh that is a mode you play as a Let me see if I get this correct. You play as a skinny gay celebrity. Twinkle Star. Get it? No? Okay. Um what even? I don't know. I don't know what to think of this. I, I don't... I like the little face. It's, it's like a music game. <coughs> Experience mus- Mucinex. I think that's a thing you take when you have bad sinuses or something. There's like a commercial with these little germ guys, booger guys. He's like, oh no, she took the Mucinex! Whoa! And they get like drained down a toilet or something. Uh, Experience Mucinex, the new music game sensation. Featuring classic hardcore rhythm gameplay mechanics. Hardcore, yes. Yeah, because this looks hardcore, man. Look how hardcore that looks. They're going to be playing this on stage at E3, actually. This is like uh, Move Over Splatoon in Smash Brothers. Music, arcade, lifestyle? What is? What the hell is lifestyle? What is the genre lifestyle? That is confusing. All right, I think that's it, right? Yeah, we did it. Holy Lord, we made it. We made it through another month, everyone. Woo! We did it. Oh, my God. Now, listen. <clears throat> um, it's probably a, probably a good idea to keep your mouth closed about what we saw back there because if word about this little uh, fish episode leaked out, that would be it for Captain Jakes and all the other businesses here in Amity. So uh, let's just keep this under our hat because, after all, we did get them, didn't we? Woo! All right. Well, on behalf of Universal Studios and Captain Jakes, I want to wish everyone here a happy rest of the day here at Universal Studios in Orlando, Florida.
that was the end spiel for the Jaws ride, by the way. I don't know why I felt like going into that. But uh, this is this is it. This is the end of the video. Thank you for suffering with me. Uh, there were a few gems. There were a few gems. <coughs> but there were um, a lot of jooms. Gems and jooms. That's what we're going to use from now on. It's either a gem, which means it's good, and it's a joom, which means it's bad. <coughs> I got to go take some Mucinex. That's it. My back hurts, and I'm and I'm kind of kind of bored. Fifty minutes. That one was fifty minutes.